Hello everyone. I am Vivek Kumar from Section C, fourth year, AVS Institute of Technology. Today we are pro uh, presenting our final year project with my team members Vishal Sharma and Swetha Pandey under the supervision of Assistant Professor Badal Bhusan. In our project, we are predicting the Parkinson disease using Python machine learning technique. As we know, Parkinson disease is the world most common disease in which the most symptoms are like like tremorness in hand and change in their voice. These disease is commonly or mostly find in the peoples of age 45 or more than 45. It is the main concern, uh, it is the worldwide concern which are increasing day by day, year by year. In our project, we are easily detecting this disease by some uh, very easy methods. We are taking some examples of recent analysis and uh, performing our project with some advanced technologies. In our project, we are we are uh, detecting this disease using uh, handwriting and the voice of patient. First of all, we have taken 30 research papers from which we have selected uh, 10 to 12. About that, we have to perform our project. We, uh, we saw that most of the techniques have accuracy less than 90% and they are so complicated. We are just using uh, this technique in which we are using Exiboost algorithm that is uh, far better than uh, SVM and other machine learning techniques. Now my team member Vishal Sarma is going further to discuss about the project. Hi, I am Vishal Sarma. Uh, we have completed our project in these four modules which is data collection, training and testing data apply Exiboost algorithm and code optimal. This is the data flow diagram of our project in which we have defined the procedure of our project, which is collection of data, process the training data, initialize the min, min, max, initialize the min max scalar, split the data into train and test. Now let's move to the architecture diagram of our project. In this diagram we have shown that uh, the actual mechanism of data flow and data analysis of this technique or uh, this uh, model. Uh, we, uh, we can see that in the screen that uh, collection of data to the testing is the procedure of our model. Now we have performed the testing in the three steps unit testing, integration testing and functional testing. These three testing are basically using the 80% of data for training and uh, other 20% of data for testing. These 20% of data are used in three types of testing. Here you can see that the water's performance in the functional testing and what we have done. Now at the screen we have generated through the API and a small mini frame. You can see that uh, we have to input these some data that was from my patient and we have to enter the data in this columns for getting the result whether the patient is affected with Parkinson's disease or not. These are the some uh, parameters by which our model performs the testing and prediction of this disease. Finally, we move to conclusion. We, as I told, uh, our model, machine learning model, 
have the accuracy of more than 95% which is a really good for detecting any disease uh, it is a very easy for uh, if we can use it at home with simple methods now i i show you the implementation part and coding part by using css we have designed the first style of uh, api uh, and of, uh, interface for user and the main coding part was named with app.py and it is done in the python we have imported flask from flask library and pickle for perform the project these are the these are the codes which you can see on the screen these codes are just taking the input data of 250 data set size that has that was taken from the uci machine learning this program is taking the data and for, uh, just for training itself now you can see that if if uh, the output is one then the you have disease that is you have affected with parkinson disease and if the output is zero it means you are not affected with parkinson disease for comfortability of user we we will provide the we will provide the interface for them now i am showing you here we are generating the address api address now look you can enter the data from the patient we have to enter the data within the range that is shown on your screen we have taken an random example for the testing of our project now we are predicting it's taking some little much down now we we can see that uh, according to the testing of given data that we have entered the patient is healthy and uh, this is, they are not affected with the parkinson disease 